chapter 11 pivot tables so now let's talk about pivot tables so like we look up pivot tables are one of the most uh, used features in excel so to start with let's understand what pivot table actually are so a pivot table is uh, primarily a summary of a large data set in excel uh, to understand it more let's say we have this data and we want to see what is the sale in east so which is as you can see 34755 so let's say i write it down here for east it's 3775 right and uh, sorry it's 34775 so now um, similarly if we do it for north we get 40682 so let's just take these two examples only so for north it's 40682 so uh, what we've done here is we have manually added the values for these two regions uh, what pivot table does is it does the similar uh, grouping or summarization of data in a very simple and automated way so uh, like we have done some you can do average or you can do a count <coughs> along a specific uh, column and also there are other things so which we'll uh, explore now so one important point before we begin uh, when ever designing a pivot table uh, just create a mental map of uh, uh, how the pivot table would look so for instance let's say we want our regions to be populated here and the corresponding values let's say sales value in dollars to be populated here let's say whatever the value is so uh, this is a rough map or rough uh, structure you should form in your mind before you uh, design the pivot table so now uh, let's quickly start how we uh, do a pivot table so you have to go to insert then pivot table so the excel will uh, give this create pivot table window and then first thing to do is to select the range or the data on which the pivot has to be created so this is the data and then it also prompts you as to where you want the pivot table to be placed so currently i am going to put it at f3 the automated the by default value otherwise you can even place it somewhere in a different worksheet and stuff like that so let's go with whatever is selected and let's do okay so my pivot table is select is uh, populated or would be populated here and uh, this is how a blank pivot table looks and also note that automatically all the headers are populated here so these headers uh, are coming from this now if i click on any of these it automatically gets selected or uh, populated here so let's understand what these four quadrants are so the rows are basically the row headers so when the pivot table is generated the row headers are what rows are all about the columns are similarly the column headers and the values are the values that will be at the interaction of each row and column label and then there is this filter uh, which as a new subject filters the data and we'll understand it more in detail as we progress so what you can do is you can just uh, track these headers and these quadrants and then see what happens uh, so uh, just go back and think how we imagined the pivot table so we said we'll have region over here and then we'll have sales value corresponding in front of it so uh, let's say we drag the regions here we have these regions here and then we want the corresponding sales value so we just put sales value so we have the uh, corresponding sales figure aggregated for each region so which is the sum of east north south west state respectively we can even uh, 
do a change of calculation in the sense instead of sum we can say count average max minimum and so on and so forth but we'll stick with sum uh, another thing we can do is we can uh, generate uh, dates over here so that we have a date wise uh, table so which looks like this but uh, maybe we might want to stop it so you can even do it like this so you see it's how easy it is to manipulate the data and i think this is what we we'll, uh, would be interested in so let's let's stick with this one and then uh, we can even uh, do some formatting in the sense we can go to the uh, design part and then you can just get rid of this uh, for instance let's say we don't want uh, uh, these total so these totals are gone or uh, we can just switch them back on so stuff like that so this more or less about formatting you can even uh, try to explore more over here in the analyze section but so far so for this session we'll cover these points only and lastly we might want to have a filter here so what filter does in pivot is uh, like if we I draw a, re a drag region here so now I have a region wise filter so I can just filter the data based on region so this is only for east and let's say if we want a north this is only for north so it becomes pretty handy for uh, dashboards or where we want an interactivity or maybe for a quick analysis of our data and lastly uh, you might also want to do some sorting with the paper data so uh, I'll just show you how you can quickly do a sorting of paper table so let's say we want to sort the data based on the grand total over here which is the grand total of the column so the highest one should be on the left and the smallest one should be on the right and obviously grand total always remain on the right most part so we select any of the cell here like this one this one any of these and then we right click and we click sort and let's say sort largest to smallest so we have the the region with the largest cell which is north on the left side and the one with the least to the rightmost side on the similar lines we can select these values and right click and then do a sort and let's say largest to uh, let's say uh, I'll do it again and let's do it largest to smallest so again uh, that sale that was largest is on the top and the lowest is on the bottom so our sixth gen sale is the highest whereas our seventh gen sale is the lowest so so these are the stuff you can do in pivot table so it makes it pretty easy to play around with the data and slice and dice the data so that's more or less about pivot table